For everybody who's watching, welcome. Um, today is our, our yoga live class today. So we are going to work a little further into our vinyasa sequence. So, so far I've eased into it a little slowly, uh, maybe not that slow, but so far I've taught you the integration, which is the beginning part of yoga. And then the ujjayi breaths, which is the type of breaths that you want to withhold throughout your entire practice. And ujjayi breaths build heat in the body. So when you're in a difficult pose, and you're breathing in and out of your nose, you make a slight constriction on the back of your throat, so as if you're hog fogging up a mirror, but you're going to keep your mouth closed, or if you're sighing as you're really frustrated as if. That breath is really gonna help you work through a lot of these poses. So that's ujjayi breaths, and then working in cleansing breaths when you need to cool down or slow down your heart rate, and that's taking the deepest inhale through the nose, parting the lips and sighing it out through the mouth, m matching your inhales with your exhales. So then we also did, we broke down sun A. So if you feel uncomfortable to go from plank to chaturanga, which is lowering down onto your, almost to your belly, and then pushing the mat away from you, opening up your chest to upward facing dog, don't go ahead and do that. I would wait a little bit until you get more comfortable with our sequence and then we can go ahead and work those in. Cause I'd rather you have proper alignment and I want you to feel good in your body. So if I say go through your flow, I want you to step back into downward facing dog. Um, and for those who are advanced, who wanna go through their chaturanga to upward facing dog, go ahead and do so. So get settled in on your mat. Uh, find a good place in your home where you feel open and safe and comfortable and I'm gonna go get everything situated and I'll be back in literally 30 seconds. Listen to my cues, listen um, as best you can so you're doing, you're in proper alignment. So today I'm going to review Sun A one more time. Uh, we're gonna go through it a few times so you feel comfortable with it. And like I said, step into downward facing dog. Don't go through the whole lowering down and uh, upward dog. Just step back and downward facing dog. So Sun A is worked in through the vinyasa sequence. And then after Sun A is Sun B. So Sun B, I'm gonna teach you um, the basic version of it. I'm only gonna teach it once this time so we can practice it more in our later videos. I just wanna introduce it so you feel comfortable for our next time. Um, and then we'll work our way to standing balances, Sun B variations, wide-legged forward folds. So that's later on in, in the, um, in our class but you'll see me incorporate it sometimes most of the time just because it's good to incorporate it all to open up your body the most uh, optimal way um, but to explain it and make you understand it um, is another thing so let's get started so first is let's getting settled in our mat we're gonna start on our backs today in Sukta Baddha Konasana so you're gonna lay on your backs Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall out wide. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can bring your feet out a little bit more. Or if that's not accessible to you, you can put a block or a pillow on either sides of the legs. And if it's still not, you can just release them. You can re re release them down into core exposure. But we really want to work into opening up the hips. So go ahead, get settled. You can place your palms facing up. We can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And if you have a block or a pillow, you can even put it behind your shoulder blades, wherever it feels good for your back, so you can open up your chest. And start to focus on the sound and the rhythm of your breath. Inhales and exhales through the nose. Inhale, filling up. Chest expands, your belly fills up. 
sending oxygen all throughout your body. And with each exhale, releasing any tension in your body, softening down, relaxing your muscles deeper into the mat. With each inhale, lengthening. And with each exhale, softening. Feeling your hips fall out even more. And start to not only focus on your breath, but feel the sensation in your chest, in your heart space, in your ribs, in your belly. As you send air to those places, And feel the softening of your facial muscles. Start to settle in and focus on yourself, on your mat. There's nowhere you need to be. Nothing to worry about, but just you and your breath. And take this time to make a dedication for your practice or an intention to help better serve you, to give value or reasoning. chest, intercostal muscles are expanding, your belly is filling up. And exhale out through the nose, feeling your belly hollow out, and your chest sinking in, feeling deep relaxation as your muscles fall into the mat. Now we're going to work our way into banana pose. So this is a new pose that I'm learning. I mean, that I'm teaching you guys today. So inhale your arms up overhead. Give yourself a full body stretch. Stretch it out all the way from your fingertips to the tips of your toes. And then release your shoulders away from your ears. Relax down. Send your hands over to the right. Your hands are going to come off the mat, but you want to lengthen out of your spine and with an exhale, twist over to the right. Send your heels over to the right of the mat and you can cross your left foot over your right foot. You can grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull very gently. You want to make sure your shoulders are on top of your mat. Your eye gaze can fall wherever it feels comfortable. I like looking at the left corner of the room, making sure each shoulder blade is placed down on the mat. Inhale, lengthen your arms up overhead. Exhale, come a little deeper into your stretch, feeling the stretch on the left side body. Inhale, walk your hands back to center. And on exhale, send your hands over to the left, top your mat. Take your feet to the left, the left corner of your mat. So you should be in a C curve towards the left. Placing your right foot over your left foot, crossing ankles, and grabbing your right wrist with your left hand, feeling the stretch in the right side body. Eye gaze towards the right, feels good for me, or wherever your eye gaze feels more comfortable. And breathing into the right side body. Keeping both shoulders down on the mat.
Inhale, come back to center. And full body stretch for one more time. Inhale, your hands up overhead. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Come into a tight little ball. You can grab either elbows, rock side to side. Massaging the spine. And then releasing your left leg down. Interlacing your hands under your right knee. And sending your right knee towards your right armpit. You'll feel a pinch in the right hip flexor. You really want to avoid the rib cage. And tightly tug in the knee to really feel the stretch in your right hip. Activate your left feet by flexing the toes towards the face to keep your left leg on the mat. And on an exhale, send your right leg over your left leg for supine twist. Reaching your right arm towards the right wall, sending your eye gaze towards your right hand. Stacking your hips on top of one another, feeling the twist in your spine. Inhale, lengthen from the crown all the way behind you. Exhale, fall deeper into your twist. Inhale, come to center, bring both knees into your chest for another squeeze. Interlace your hands under the left knee, release the right leg all the way down. Flex the right toes towards the face. And on your next exhale, send your left knee to your left armpit. You can point the toes or flex the toes on the lifted leg. Avoiding the rib cage, sending your knee over to your right, left armpit. And on your exhale, send your left knee over to the right, stacking your hips on top of each other. Extend the left arm to the left side of the room, eye gaze towards the left thumb. Hmm. With each inhale, lengthening all the way forward with your spine. And each exhale, falling deeper into your twist. Inhale, both legs to center. Just give yourself a tight squeeze. And then separate your feet, come into happy baby. Grab onto either the outside or the inside of your feet. And push your feet into your hands, hand into your feet. You can grab onto the calves if your feet are not accessible to you. You really want to keep your tailbone and lower back onto your mat as you push into your hands and feel the opening of your hips. You can straighten out one leg, straighten out the other leg to open up your hamstrings a little more. Throat movement, rocking side to side. Or find stillness, whatever speaks to you today. And bring your feet to the mat. You can rock your hips side to side. And come into reverse tabletop, sending your knees in the air towards the ceiling. You want to have your knees and your ankles in one line. You can point the toes. You want to keep your back planted onto the mat. You may have to reach your tailbone a little down or up, if you will, in this, in this matter. You really want to squeeze your abdominal muscles as if you're bracing for a punch. Keep your shoulders on the mat. And then start to tap your right toe down on the mat and come right back up and switch legs. Left toe taps, come back up. Right toe taps, come back up. 
making sure the only thing moving here is your leg. You want to squeeze your abdominal muscles, you want to keep it bent. Nothing else should be moving. Really feel your abdominal squeezing as you bring your toe, tap it down and send it back up. Just warm up the abdominal muscles because it's a staple for yoga practice. Keeps good balance, form. And when you're all worn out, <laughs> lift your legs back up into tabletop and extend your legs all the way to the ceiling. Bring your hands behind your hamstrings and energetically press your hamstrings into your hands and your hands into your hamstrings. It's a really good active stretch. You feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. If you have to give a slight bend, that's fine. We work to straighten the legs, tighten those abs. There should be no space in your back. And hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Bring your hands on the back of your thighs and start to rock and roll up and down, avoiding the neck. Really feel each vertebrae as you go down with a curvature in your back. So like cat spine. Using those abdominal muscles to help bring you up to seated position or bow pose, if you will. And when you rocked and rolled enough times, cross your legs, come up, and come into tabletop. Okay. Cow cat. On an inhale, open up your chest to the front of the room as your belly lowers, tailbone reaches up. Exhale, push the mat away from you. Chin comes to your chest, eyes at your navel, tailbone reaches down. Feel the stretch in your back. Inhale, cow, open your chest up to the front of the room, lower your belly. Fingers spread out wide. Exhale, cat, push the mat away from you, round the spine, tight abs. Inhale, cow, and go at your own pace from cow to cat. We're bringing some organic movement here. So when you're here bringing organic movement or make it your own, start to explore this, the points in your body that may not feel the most open or loose and work into those places, whether you have to come into child's pose to work out the hips. C curves by reaching your right shoulder to your right hip. I gaze follows for some oblique work. Breathing with each movement, connecting the breath and the body. Once you feel all warmed up, send your left foot all the way back. So straighten the leg. Tip. Your tailbone should be neutral. So there should be no banana backs. You really want to Press into the mat, squeeze your abdominal muscles as you bring your left leg all the way back. And um, tuck the toes. And then lift the left leg up slightly just for a hover. Square your hips to the front of the room. Flex your toes towards your shin. Press them out away from you. Work those abdominals. Exhale, release the left leg down to meet the right. Extend your right leg out. Inhale, lift the right leg up slightly. Flex the right toes towards the face. Press the mat away from you. Really work into the abdominals. Round the spine like cat as you square the hips to the front of the room. 
Exhale, lower down. Exhale, come into child's pose. Extend your arms out in front of you. Bring your belly on the tops of your thighs and wiggle it out. Sending your glutes to your heels. Fingers spread out wide, slightly grip the mat with your fingertips. Shoulders away from the ears. And come back to tabletop. We're gonna do a modified chaturanga. So inhale, shift your weight forward past the wrist creases. You're on your knees. So your shoulders comes past the wrist creases. And exhale, lower all the way down onto your mat. If you want to try to ranga, usually you come down halfway. Now let's warm up our backside body with some mini back bends, heart openers, baby cobra. Tighten your glutes, tighten your calves, your quads. Place your thumb in the middle of your chest. The tops of your fingertips are going to be right up by your collarbone. Place your forehead down on the mat or your chin down on the mat. And on an inhale, open your chest up to the front of the room, little or no weight in your hands. Fingers spread wide. You can lift them for more of a challenge or lightly place them down, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your quads towards the midline, in and up with your abs. Exhale, forehead comes to your mat. Inhale, lift the chest up. Squeeze the shoulders and the back body. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Come up a little higher. Exhale, forehead comes to your mat. Inhale, chest lifts up. Shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing those glutes. Exhale, forehead meets the mat. Bend the knees, rock your Feet side to side. And tuck the toes. Come back into tabletop. And lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal out the heels is the first downward facing dog of class today. Feel free to move your hips side to side. Let your head hang and neck. Hang heavy. You can shake your head. Lift your heels up, lift your heels down. Be sure you're gripping with your fingertips. Rock your shoulders back and your triceps back by screwing the top of a jar with your hands energetically. So you'll see my positioning of my elbows coming down. Inhale, lift the heels, and shift your weight into plank. So your shoulders stack over your wrists, and your hips stack over, or is, half, is parallel to the mat. Your heels stack over your toes. Exhale, push the mat away from you, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, shift into plank. Exhale, come downward facing dog. Go through a few of these on your own. So when you're moving forward, you should be rolling through like a wave, really rounding the spine, stacking the shoulders over the wrists, tightening your glutes and your legs towards the center. Exhale, push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can bend the knees, let your belly rest onto the tops of your thighs to release any lower back pain. And work to straighten the legs. Should be an inverted V shape. And once you are properly aligned, where you don't have to move your feet and your hands, take baby, baby, baby steps all the way towards your hands. Lift your heels and start walking. And as you get closer to hands, put your weight into your fingertips. Separate your feet hip width distance apart or as big as your mat. For ragdoll, bend your knees deeply, letting your belly come on top of your thighs, grabbing either sides of your elbows, letting your head and neck hang heavy. 
and rocking side to side. Or you can stay still. Bearing more weight in your toes will really open up your hamstrings. You can work to straighten the legs if you feel more comfortable. Really matching your inhales with your exhales. With each exhale really falling more forward. Letting everything feel loose. And then heel toe your feet together. Come at the top of your mat. And center feet first, making your make sure you're bearing weight in all four corners of your feet. Slight bend in the knee. And round the spine as you slowly rise all the way up, squeezing your legs together. Rounding the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, head comes last. Whew. Tadasana. So we talked about Tadasana in our last video too. So that's the mother of all poses. So it's really the start of all sun A. So we're gonna go over it right now. So sun A. Inhale. Lift your hands up overhead, palms come together. Bring them to heart center, exhale forward fold. Hinge at the hips, straight spine all the way down, head comes last. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, straight spine, slight bend in the knee. Exhale, plant the hands down, step both feet into plank. And this is where you can just go into downward facing dog or Flow and meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale, you bring your knees down if you want to go and try it. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, hug the elbows close into the body. Come down halfway. Inhale, press them out away from you. Lift the chest open to the front of the room. Upward facing dog. Tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So that was our sun A. And we're gonna keep going through our sun A's a couple more times so you feel more comfortable. And I'm gonna talk a little bit faster. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. I gaze comes forward at your hands. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, nose to your knees. Inhale, root to rise, arms come up all the way overhead, palms come together. Meet in heart center. Exhale, forward fold, flat spine on the way down, hinge at the hips, head comes last. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins, flat spine, length in the neck. Exhale, plant the hands down, step into plank, really push them out away from you. Squeeze everything in toward the midline, belly up and in, shoulders stacked over the wrists. Inhale, shift your weight forward, come onto the tips of your toes. Exhale, hug the elbows in really close, come down halfway. They should be a 90 degree angle with your elbow and your shoulder. Inhale, upward facing dog, lifting the chest, eye gaze up, shoulders away from the ears. Glutes engaged, quads engaged, hips are lifted. I'm making you guys hold it. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Eye gaze comes forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms come up all the way overhead, palms come together, meet in heart center in prayer. Exhale, forward fold, hinge of the hips, flat spine, Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, long neck. Exhale, plant the hands down, step into plank and move through your flow or meet us in downward facing dog. So go ahead and come meet us in downward facing dog. 
or I'll lead you through your chaturanga. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower down halfway. Hug the elbows in towards the body. Untuck the toes. Open the chest to the front of the room. Push into your mat. Shoulders away from the ears. Upward facing dog or cobra. So that's not lifting the hips. And your arms come out a little wider. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Mm, pedal out the heels. Walk the dog. And great job with your sun A's, everybody. So those are what sun A's are. So now I'm going to <clears throat> work into our sun B's. And I'm gonna modify a little, a little bit before we go full out. So inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Eye gaze comes forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Inhale, root to rise, arms come up all the way overhead. Exhale, sit your hips back and down for chair pose. So for chair pose, you wanna face your pinkies in. You wanna face your pinkies in. You wanna sit down and bear weight into your heels. Look down at below your knees. You should still see your big toes. Belly is up and in. You want to draw the tailbone down as you lift your chest open. And then bring your hands together. Straighten the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step into plank. Move through your flow. Or move, through, move to your downward facing dog. Give everybody a couple of minutes to get into downward facing dog, or a couple seconds if you will. However long it takes to really breathe with each posture. <sighs> Inhale, lift the right leg up. Flex the toes towards the shin, square the hips to the front of the room. You may have to bring the right hip down so that both hips are in one line. Press the mat away from you, wrap the triceps back. Really squeeze those abdominal muscles as if you're planting your heel on the back wall, feeling those glutes firing. Exhale, place your right foot down to meet the left. Inhale, lift your left leg up, square the hips. Really trying to make a print with your left heel on the back wall. Exhale, lower the left leg. Inhale, lift the right leg up, square the hips, flex toes. And on an exhale, we're going to hug the right knee to our chest in plank pose. Stay here for a breath. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands. Lower the left knee for low lunge. We're going to rock back and forth. Let's warm up the hamstrings a little bit more. And our hip flexor. And then stack your right knee over your right ankle, your shoulders over your hips. Inhale your arms up overhead, belly up and in, knit your ribs in, so you're not splaying out. Right knee over right ankle. Really energetically move your right heel with your left knee to feel your legs moving. Exhale, plant your hands to frame the right foot, Tuck the left toes and come to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, flex the toes, square the hips. Exhale, hug the left knee into your chest. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands. Lower the right knee for low lunge and rock back and forth. So we want to get in the habit of stepping forward in our downward facing dogs because that's what sun B will entail. Stack your left knee over your left ankle, shoulders stacked over your hips. Square your hips to the front of the room by drawing your left hip back, your right hip forward, belly up and in, shoulders away from the ears as you bring your biceps up. Take an inhale. 
Exhale, plant your hands to bring your left foot, tuck your right toes back, and just step into downward facing dog. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, your right leg lifts, flex the toes towards the shin, belly up and in. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands, lower the left knee, low lunge. Inhale, your arms up overhead, stacking the right knee over the right ankle. Inhale, out of your waist. Exhale, plant your hands to frame the foot and step back into downward facing dog. One more on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg, toes flex towards the face. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands, low lunge, lower the right knee to the mat. Rise your arms all the way up overhead, stacking your shoulders over your hips, belly up and in. Exhale, plant your hands to frame the left foot, tuck the right toes and come into downward facing dog. Very nice, everybody. Very nice, I'm just making sure you can see me. Let's take a cleansing breath here together. Take a deep inhale through the nose, as deep as you can, deepest inhale of the day, filling up. Hold at the top, wide open mouth, exhale it out. Return to your normal breaths, in and out through your nose. And now it's time for Sun B. Inhale, lift your right foot up. Flex the toes towards your face. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands. Keep your right knee bent over your right ankle. Left leg is straight. We want to lift our knee off the mat this time around. Plant the heel down on your left foot. You may step out to the left a little bit more. Your left toe should be angled at the top left corner of your mat. Ground your feet first and inhale your arms up, biceps to ears for warrior one. Tailbone reaches down, right knee over right ankle. Woo, look at me, I'm losing it over here, sweating. <laughs> so, warrior one, you really want right knee over right ankle. A lot of people like to do warrior two feet, but that's not allowing our hips to be squared to the front of the room. Even if I were to try, it's not completely squared. So you wanna step your foot out as if you're going for a lunge, but your left toes should be facing the top left corner of your mat. So go ahead and take a look. Take a little gander. So that you're able to draw the right quad back and your left hip forward. So when I say that, that's what it means. Look how it just changes my anatomy. <laughs> Not really, but changes my uh, position, my alignment. Woo, okay. So that's warrior one, right? So, and this is not the easiest pose in the world. This is probably the most difficult. It took me a while. So inhale your arms up overhead. Left leg is really straight. And remember to energetically draw your feet towards each other to really feel your engagement of your muscles. And then on an exhale, plant your hands to frame the right foot and step back into downward facing dog. Or in that case, you can move through your flow and meet us in downward facing dog, but this is beginner right now. So we'll work up to it. Inhale, lift the left leg up, square your hips, toes flex towards the shin. Exhale, warrior one. Hug your left knee into your chest as you plant your foot in between your hands. Set the back right foot by planting the right heel down. Angle your right toes to the top right corner of the mat. Left knee over left ankle. Straighten your right leg as your left knee is bent. Once you set your feet first, inhale your arms up overhead very slowly. Biceps to ears, pinkies can come in. Making sure our belly is up and in, our chest isn't splayed outwards. And exhale, plant our hands down. 
Step into downward facing dog. Let's try warrior one on both sides one more time. Inhale, lift the right leg up, flex the toes towards the face. Exhale, warrior one. Come into plank as you hug the right knee into your chest. On an exhale, plant your right foot in between your hands. Set the left heel down, angle your toes to the left top corner of your mat. As your right foot is pointed straight ahead and your knee is bent over your right ankle. Once you set your feet, inhale your arms up overhead, biceps to ears, belly up and in, shoulders away from the ears. Lift up and out of the waist, really stretching your fingertips to the ceiling without your shoulders shrugging. Exhale, plant your hands to frame the right foot, step your right foot back to downward facing dog. You have to adjust your feet a little bit to get yourself into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, flex the toes towards the face. Exhale, plant your foot in between your hands. Warrior one. Set your right heel down. Angle your right toes to the top right corner of your mat. Left toes forward. Keeping that left knee bent, right leg straight. Lift your torso up, belly up and in. Inhale out of the waist. Keeping a bent, a, a bent knee. Exhale, plant your hands down to frame the left foot and step right back into downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Very good, everybody. And we'll learn more about it as we move through our videos. On an inhale, lift your right foot all the way up to the sky. But now this time, open your hips to the right. Send your right heel towards your right glute and open your hips towards the right. So now you're going to open your entire hips towards the right side of the room. But you want to keep your shoulders in one line. You want to keep traditional downward facing dog arms in front of you. So we don't want to splay out. You really want to tighten our belly up and in. And go ahead. Move out our hips. Get all those cracks and sticky places out with our hip circles. Being really mindful as we're rolling our hips. We really want to move with control. You move in one direction, you move in the other direction. Inhale your right leg up and exhale, place your right foot to meet the left. Wiggle it out. Then on an inhale, make sure your fingers are spread out wide. Grip those fingers, you don't want to lose sight of it. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee towards your glute. Open the hips to the left side of the room. Keep your torso parallel to the mat. Belly up and in, hip circles. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the other way. And then place your left foot to meet the right. Walk your hands all the way towards your feet now. Separate your feet, hip width distance apart or wider, and go into a forward fold of choice. So we've done ragdoll before, so maybe I'm going to show you gorilla pose now. So here's another forward fold option. So your feet should be hip width distance apart. A lot of people think their hips are wider than they actually are. So let your, every time you come down for a forward fold, inhale, lengthen from the crown up. Bend, hinge at the hips, flat spine, chest is a little out. And once you get closer to your knees, you can release down and round. <laughs> so tuck your hands under your feet. You may think this is going to hurt, but as long as you get your big toe at your wrist creases or the rest of your toes at your wrist crease, you're not going to feel, you're going to feel so good, <laughs> I'm telling you. There's going to be no pain, there's no pressure on your, on your hand. You've got to make sure your toes are at the wrist crease. And you can gent gently uh, press your hands into your feet to feel more broadening in your back and your spine. Or just relax, a more restorative pose. I mean, it's 
only fair. We did banana post. We gotta do gorilla post. <laughs> 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 so, release your hands. Separate your feet out wide so that your toes are off the mat and your heels are on the mat. Sit your tush down towards your mat. Place your hands at heart center and press your knees into your elbows and your elbows into your knees and open up your chest. You can stay here for stillness or you can go ahead and give yourself some movement. And start to close your eyes and slow down your breath. And come onto your sit bones. And depending on how much space you have, I like you can come out this way, but I'm going to show you guys long ways on my mat. So placing your foot on your inner left thigh. You can either flex your toe or point your toe, um, whatever feels best for you. I'm just used to pointing because I danced all my life, but flexing is really good for stability as well, and it's harder. So if you were to kick your leg up, it's harder to kick with your leg, your feet flexed. Um, it takes more control. So, foot on the inner thigh, up and out of the waist, lift up from the crown to the ceiling. Arms come up, twist towards your foot, exhale, lower. You can go as straight as you want if you want more curvature. I recommend coming down as best you can with a straight spine and then rounding. You want to make sure that your hips are really squaring to your leg. You can only come up to here, that's okay too. Just listen to your body. Inhale your arms back up and place your left hand on your calf, spread your feet and reach your right arm all the way up and over. Really lengthen from the right side body and the left side body, no sinking in. You really want to just stretch and send your right shoulder to the back wall and open up your chest to the front of the room. Your eyes can come towards the ceiling. Making sure you're breathing length on either side of your neck. And coming back to center, switching feet. Sending your right leg out in front uh, to the side of you. Your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Inhale your arms up overhead. Square your torso to your leg. And straight spine all the way down as best as you can followed with a slight round. Really breathing in all the sensations that are, you're feeling right now. And there's always a difference between pain and tension. So you know how to challenge yourself. So maybe try and challenge yourself a little bit more each day. You know, instead of settling in your comfort zone. All right, inhale both arms up overhead, placing your right forearm or your hand wherever it may reach, but reaching your left hand up and over your head, feeling the stretch in the side body on your left, shoulders away from your ears, eye gaze can come towards the ceiling as you send your left shoulder towards the back wall. Hmm. And 
inhale back up. Bring your soles of your feet together in butterfly. And with a straight spine, you can work in to your feet to feel the stretch on the outer hips. Or if you want, you can have more of a curvature. But listening to your body feels what, see what feels good. Really always want to keep your spine straight for every forward fold and then ending with your rounding. Or if you can't go all the way down, you don't need to. You can even stay this, this tall and placing your hands out in front of you. Just making a slight stretch and breathing into all sensations and feelings that arise. Remembering your values, your dedication, and why you're here today. Just be present. Okay. Reach your feet in front of you. Toes flex towards the face. Hands come out in front of you. Fingers spread wide. Round the spine like cat and slowly lower down. Tighten those abdominal muscles, squeezing the legs together. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Full body stretch, reaching your fingers and toes in opposite directions. <sighs> Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Place your feet down. Bring, brush your fingertips on the back of your heels. Your feet should be hip width distance apart. Pressing into your hands. Inhale, lift the hips off of the mat, squeezing your glutes. Sending the glutes all the way to the ceiling. Your knees shouldn't splay outwards. They should be right in front of you. Press into your hands in the back of the head. There should be a slight space between your chin and your chest. Exhale, slowly lower down. One more, bridge. Inhale, lift the hips up. And if you want some shoulder opening, you can weasel your way under your back body Interlacing your fingers, palms squeezed together, pressing into the mat, lifting you higher. Feel the opening of the chest. Press into the heels, press into the glutes, press into your hands. Inhale your arms up overhead, still lifted. Exhale slowly lower, vertebrae by vertebrae. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. And slowly release your legs all the way down. And take as much or as little space as you want lying down on your mat for Savasana, corpse pose. So really start to slow down your breath, lengthen your inhales and lengthen your exhales. Honoring all your hard work and dedications that you set for class today. Breathing in the light, love, and joy from everyone who had supported you throughout your class today. And start to release every muscle in your body and melt into your mouth. Softening the space in between your eyebrows. Releasing any tension in your face. Any expression.
releasing your jaw by slightly parting the mouth and letting the tongue flow from the mouth. Cleansing breath. Take an inhale through the nose, the deepest inhale of the day, filling up deeper and deeper. Hold at the top for a few moments. Wide open mouth, exhale it out, sigh it out. Turn to your normal breaths in and out through the nose. Savasana. Start to surrender. And let go. And take this moment of silence to tune in to your mind and your body in the present moment. Start to bring movement back into the body. Wiggle toes, wiggle fingers. Rock your head side to side. Inhale your arms up overhead for a full body stretch, reaching all the way behind you. And reaching your toes all the way in front of you. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Come to a tight little ball. 